uh, got the win across the road at the old Mokapita Mukaba Stadium uh, with a 1 0 victory in their match and uh, to, against Super United. Well, Sukuna United are looking to emulate them here. Well, Kono Kono confirmed there's been a change. Uh, the London Pirates uh, side as we get back underway uh, it is uh, the home side in red Kukuna United if you're just joining us uh, attacking the goals to the left of your picture Pirates are in the away strip the lime green away strip uh, I'm going to bring in Pumuzo Manenje who is alongside me this evening uh, just uh, to give us some thoughts on uh, well, the change, of, first of all, that has been made there is the man on the ball now, Sandy Lemtetwa, who has come on to replace Sasani, who had been booked. We spoke about it in the first half, uh, promoter manager, and that is the first change that has been made here by Jose Rivero. Your thoughts? In the 12th minute, uh, Sasani, 12th minute, 13th minute, around there, the yellow card goes to Sasani. Then the coach goes to this man, that is uh, uh, Sandy Lemtetwa. He goes to Sandy Lemtetwa and says to him the yellow card has happened um, that man that is playing in your position i might think of making the change at half time because of the threat of the position because you have to get in a, a lot of tussles and tackles and i don't want uh, to find myself with a man down prepare yourself at half time i might need you and at half time he does exactly that he says to the young Sasani, you're on a yellow card my boy it's not that you're you're having a bad game but this is a tactical change that i have to make according to the yellow card that you have received earlier Gabriel i mean as a player who's brought down and uh, yeah it's a clear foul by uh keys might actually count himself lucky not to to be poked there uh, coming in from behind bringing Gabriel Tamini down yeah so indeed as a uh, the change that has happened then Mteto are coming on uh, for Sesani. That's uh, one player who was making his debut the, for the season, uh, uh, coming off and then being replaced by another player making his first appearance of the season. Mteto has had uh, issues with injuries most of his campaign, and that's why he's uh, been uh, rarely seen on the field. His first appearance of the campaign last uh, season. Uh, made nine appearances five starts and four of the bench so here we go it's a set piece in a very promising position cabello Zamini with that left boot can do something Saleng would have been interested in that discussion but he's there instead taking up a place there in the wall it's going to be Zamini and Badra had to make the save and well, that's all you ask for from a player who takes a set piece, you want him to work the keeper. Positive start from Orlando Pirates, a good set play from Zamini. Maybe lacking a little bit in terms of, of power or, or venom, but good positioning from uh, Ali Sangari makes a great save. Corner kick, Orlando Pirates. It's Zamini again from the near side, goes to the near post. So, what does uh, what's the approach then going to be from Skukuna? More of the same here with that we the instruction. Let's have a look at Saleng uh, as Mabasa offside. No, nope, he wasn't offside. So play continues. Uh, Zamini with a teasing ball into the middle there. Da, it stayed up. This isn't Da. Mufuking. They've lost possession now. There's a chance for Paris to break, uh, for another Skukuna to break with Mukwana finds him move uh, whose goal separates the two sides can't get past uh, those long legs of uh, Sandy Lem Tetua. good tackle coming from Tetua. stays on his feet for as long as possible not being deceived by the skill of move a great uh, a great uh, tackle in this instance look at Dion Otto half-hearted half-hearted into, into the talent there uh, Titi yeah that's how your injuries happen as well when you like kind of pull out like that if they uh, catch you could do yourself a serious injury oh jamie weber didn't expect that one to come through to him only sundown would have been favorite to get to that one but uh, came through to weber fortunately was uh put unaware they didn't expect it to get through to him 
excellent run uh, from from Weber. He has been important in terms of where he's making those channels to attract players. Even in the goal that Kukune scores, he's the man that makes the run wide. Then he gives that secondary assist when he finds Mtambo, who later finds Mbobe for the goal. Well, Pirates' last visit out here was a successful one. They got a win against Pulubwani City in the, the last away match. But uh, that was only the third win of the season away from home. That's a great ball in here. A chance here for Mukwana! 2-0! Linda Mdambo against his former club. Pirates are done on the counter. Linda Mdambo doing what some players don't do. And celebrate against their former club. And it's 2-0! Whoa! What's happening here? Linda Mtambo, goal number three in all competition. To go together with the two assists so far this season. Is that transitional ball from uh, Skukune. Is that late run into the box that he makes that is Linda Mtambo. A well taken goal by Skukune. The game plan of Siema um, in today's game has been excellent. Look at how Mube drives forward. Look at the run that has been made on the far side by Mukwana. Is there a push on Mutetwa from Weber? A well-taken goal by Skukune. Uh, well, that's a great run. Uh, well, that's a great counter-attacking goal there. Have a look at what happens there. Jamie Weber on Mutetwa. But, uh, well, the referee, there wasn't much of an appeal either from Mutetwa himself. Um, might argue that he was already going down. So, 2-0. Confirming then the goal by Linda Mtambo. Well, just about the perfect start to the second half for the home side here. Linda Mtambo against his former club here. And so often we see players choose not to celebrate when they score against, uh, um, against their former club. Linda Mtambo wasn't holding back there. Within his right, um, he has got a goal. If he decides that he wants to celebrate the goal that he has scored, um, he has all the rights to do that and he, he, go, he goes on to celebrate a good goal that he has scored, that is Linda Mtambo. Yeah, I'm also not uh, one with that thing of not celebrating. I mean, there's one thing about celebrating and there's another being disrespectful and I don't think you can accuse him of being disrespectful there. Sangare, who's uh, basically had a... Uh, that one save, I think it's a real one, a clear cut save where he was tested. Now, could be more problems here. And Namdambo misplaced the ball there this time. And it's not quite where he wanted him. He's a, uh, rather, Chain is not happy with what's happening in front of him. I think the frustration is um, the midfielders are not dropping back to assist. That is frustration that is uh, shouting Chain to say we also need your assistance when we defend. But well, under Pirates, I uh, mentioned uh, when conceding first this season, they've only won one match, and that was uh, the recent one against the uh, Kaiser Chiefs uh, in the derby. Uh, there you go, another misplaced pass there. But of the five games uh, they've conceded first this season, they've won one, drawn one, lost three. And uh, even in the cup, it's a similar picture where. They conceded first on three occasions, only won one of those matches and lost two. So now having to turn around a two-goal deficit, it means that they will need three goals to win here this uh, evening. Otherwise, Kukuna United will go above them. They, on the other hand, have a very good record when taking the lead. As I indicated a little earlier, Hotto, space here for Omo for Kings. Miss kick, that was a touch. He got away, but he's recovered the ball here. Yeah. So many red jerseys in front of him, though. Ntetwa. Almost pickpocketed there. Miguel Tim trying to get it through to Mabasa. Safe in the hands of uh, Ali Sangare. It's a long ball forward there. And Mtetwa under pressure from uh, 
Ndambo as well. Still a long way to go yet in the game, though. There's a plenty of football to be played. When you look at Skukune, they are happy with where Zamin is, is fetching the ball because he doesn't hurt them. They are, they are thinking now it means the three midfielders for Orlando Pirates are actually dealt with by the, the two uh, central midfielders. It's, it's not a problem for them. So that's why you need a Zamini to be playing closer to, to a Mavasa in that instance. Let Miguel Tim be the player that is collecting the ball. Now, chance here for Pirates to pull one back, and they do! I said it's a long way to go, Mavasa! Gets his first goal in the DSTV Premiership for Pirates. It's his seventh DSP, DSTV Premiership goal of the season. With an adding to the six that he got at Swallows. And he's now pulled Pirates back into the game. Game on. Game on. Look at the position where Zamini received the ball. He's dangerous when he received the ball in and around the, the, the D line. And that delightful ball to be able to find Otto. Look at Zamini receiving in the pocket. Being able to find a Dion Otto that is making the run. The cutback from Dion Otto. A Predators. A number nine goal. Mabasa gets goal number 10 in all competitions uh, this season. And Orlando Pirates edge one back into this game. The youngster there, Tiwani, the left back, caught completely ball watching there. Uh, he had no eye concept of where, in fact, he was caught behind Mabasa. Mabasa in the end was unmarked. So a great run from Mabasa and uh, finishing with a plum. And it's the second coming of Mabasa to Orlando Pirates that continues here as uh, he gets his first in the Premiership for, for Pirates and takes his tally to six in. The DSTV Premiership, if you add the six from Swallows, and now if you add the three goals as well that he's got in the cup, remember he got um, helped himself to a brace in the cup recently. Pirates were considering a change, but uh, looks as if uh, they have pulled them back. But it's going to be a change coming from uh, Skukune United, who are now gonna be under. They can, you can expect Pirates to come at them now. And they are going to be under some serious pressure. Henceforth, they are preparing a change. Yes, Lindam Tambo has got Jamie Weber to his right. Goes on his own! I don't know whether that was the right option. Mukocha was up in there. It's not often you see Mukocha that high up. Acknowledges that that might not have been the right option here. Whenever they're on transition, it's always four versus three. That is Kukune. They've worked out that counter-attack. They've worked out that transition. Orlando Pirates needs to fix the rest defense because whenever Kukune dispossesses them, they look like scoring because they have the numerical advantage around the ball are taking that last line of Orlando Pirates, something that they need to fix. I don't think it's a tactical change. I think there's a knock because yeah, it it's shaking like, yeah. his head. That is the coach yeah. just leaves the field of play. Muchali coming in in that six role for Skukune. I was about to say it's not often that you see him being pulled off coming on Mugocho. It must have been a knock that he's picked up there and uh, he is then replaced by uh, Muchali. The first change then for Skukune uh, United. And it looks like it's an injury forced change. As El Sonorom Charlie checks in. Just under an hour gone in this game. This it I did mention just before Mabasa scored that there's a long way to go yet in this game. And uh, it's going to be a long 30 minutes or so for Skukune United. Pirates, you can bet your life, are going to throw everything at them. Going to make a change. Uh, Pirates uh, preparing a change. Looks like Kapinga is the player will be introduced there. But here comes Skukune again. Uh, just as Mukwana was lining up the shot, the ball taking off his toes there. Now, John Hotter slips it uh, to Saneng and uh, poor first touch there from uh, Mufu King. Uh, 
as uh, Horus Masihe and looking slightly anxious now um, with the way things have turned that goal by Mabasa changes the complexion of the game just uh, giving them just a little something extra to think about now and uh, you can anticipate that there will be a total onslaught as pilots making a double change there and it's a two attacking options there with Kapinga and Kimwedika about to come on and as uh, get your thoughts on this uh, what uh, the coach is thinking here now the coach would be thinking that um Kimbridi can come in for for a saleng as what he as that's what we are being told um when um Kapinga comes in for for miguel team it will mean that um Mbata will drop to that sixth position it means that lamini will drop into that eighth position and Kapinga will come in and play as the 10 and that will be uh, the triangle in midfield it means that um karim will be one of the tens together with the with the mufukeng and uh, uh, kapinga so that is the tactical changes that pirates wants to do to try and fit around because they are trying to break that low block they are trying to block uh, to to break that seven players that are behind the ball at all times for skukune those two players that are about to come onto the field of play technically gifted good thinkers on the ball creative spark for Orlando Pirates can they bring the spark that is needed that is the big question to be uh, to a rather play there is entirely who has uh, was penalized okay so as you call as you said there Saleng is the first player very quiet day at the office for him he is the first player off uh, and Miguel Tim is the other that goes off uh, which means the chart the armband will also change arms if you like so the city Kapinga and uh, Kim really there on for his uh, uh, 13th appearance of the season he's uh, sixth off the bench Miguel Tim was also um, let's have a look at it in a moment uh, so what's going to happen here it's a set piece for Pirates uh, we saw what happened in a similar position last time out. It was uh, Lamini that forced a save out of uh, uh, Sangare. So we'll have a... Right, let's have a look then. Uh, it's Mufuking and uh, Lamini standing off this one. It's Lamini again! Uh, did uh, Sangare get a touch? It must have. It's gone up for, gone, uh, for a corner. Uh, it's uh, two different routines from Lamini. Again, going for placement of more than power. Uh, he's got a corner out of this one. Number five for Pirates. Comes across to take the corner himself Cabello Lamini goes to the near post oh very nearly snuck into the near post by Mabasa whoa a clever little flick there from Mabasa and very nearly snuck into that near post sniper intelligence finds pockets of space but good anticipation coming from the defense of uh, of Skukune another routine from Orlando Pirates and it comes to the back post this time Hotel got a lot on it, but he didn't control it. But uh, banging on the door now, Orlando Pirates. As they look to turn this one around, they've already shown their powers of recovery, as I said, most recently against Kyle, the Chiefs. But uh, I think the touch there from Linda Mtambo. An important touch coming Very from important, uh, yeah. Linda Mtambo. It was sneaking in in that near post. Um, a good set play from Zamini he has been very important for Orlando Pirates in this game in terms of uh, the set plays that he has, he has taken. They are going to bring on an attacking player as Kukuna we hear. Ohizu is about to be introduced. Ohizu is standing by to come on for. Skukune United, they think they need a little bit, uh, they need more options in attack just to give something 
Pirates something to worry about as uh, the momentum is swung after that goal. Mabasa throwing Pirates a lifeline. There he is on the ball again. Away by Moby who slips just as he tries to get that one away. Mkeze goes down. Referee well positioned. Says play on. Kapinga there. Away by Moby. 25 minutes to play. So here come the changes then. Puriso Masangu and uh, Chiwike Ohizu. Skukwin is all time leading scorer, Ohizu, on five goals this season. And uh, Puriso Masangu, the very versatile Masangu, looks like he's gonna. He's gonna go. Okay, who's Ohizu coming on for? Is he coming on for Nube, who's got the whose work is done? He scored the opening goal. Masangu replaces him. That means he'll go into an attacking role then. Uh, he can play defensively as well. And uh, what is gonna happen Weber, now? It's also what is gonna, gonna happen now is that Ohizo will be uh, the number nine. He will have uh, Mukwana and also Pohiso joining him late uh, into that box. Linda Tambo will continue in that 10 role. So now they are switching the, the tactic that is Kukune playing with a nine that can be able to hold up the players, uh, the ball for the players that will be making the late runs into the box. They are trying to react from the changes that Orlando Pirates has also made into that midfield. Charlie coming in and getting tangled there with Kim Vuidi. And Charlie is just off the pace. There's a couple of fouls that he's committed since coming on. He hasn't been on the field that long. And he's just a, a bit late with these challenges. So just showing that he's slightly off the pace. And this free kick has gone actually his way. Way by Nda. Kabazel, anyway, will do. As he sends it to Zanin. You're going to have to dig deep now. And also, I guess a little bit of calmness is going to be required here from Skukune. Not to go into panic mode now. Because... Uh, I think if uh, the next goal in this game will be very important because I fancy Pirates get the equalizer. There'll be only one team that can win it that from that point. Now, Mugwana offside. Didn't look it, didn't look it. But uh, the referee's assistant on the far side there, Tinani. Put the flag up. Let's have a look at this. Side. Not the current call. Not a good call at all. I think Mjeko Charlie, is playing Charlie him is on. in an onside position. When uh, Figo plays that ball out wide, I think Mjeko is playing him onside. Not the current call by the assistant ref in that moment. That's why maybe the Sonon Osema reacted the way that he did there. Kim Vuidi signed, of course, from Marisburg United. Such an elegant player. So exciting to watch on the ball, as is this man. A bag of skills, but uh, just not getting it. Uh, it's been tough for him to break into the to the side. And I mean, had a similar frustration last time, uh, last season at uh, Mamelo Di Sundowns. Couldn't get in there, but we all know what he's got. Uh, I'm sure it's uh, the best of him at uh, Black Leopards. You need, you need to give it to coach uh, Jose Rivera for bravery. He's playing Glamini, uh, Mufukeng, Kapinga, uh, Kim Beauty at the same time. Those yeah. are four All players, players. Mm -hmm. uh, that are ball players that can create anything at any moment in the game. Away by Cardoso. He's going to have to marshal the troops now. Or oh, he's who's going to do a lot of work now. He's be the target man. He'll be the outlet. Up here, but Papinga Neto, oh, Mabasa's first touch. 
You would have bet your house on him getting the business done there. Excellent work from Kapinga to pick to release him there and Mabasa. You would have bet your house, as I said, on him. That's the man you wanted on that one, on the end of that one. Just his first touch there. Letting him down badly. A little bit flat footed. Would you say he did not believe that the ball will get him? Kapinga gives a champagne pass that unlocks that defense and leaves him one on one. Here come Paris again. Miscued by Cardoso. And a little bit of panic starting to set in here. They look so composed for the most part. Now that's a wasteful ball. That's a poor cross in. They had it all under control. They were very calm in the first half. The one touch from Rilem Fukeng. Kapinga, the ability to be able to find Mavasa is on side. He could have taken that first time, Titi. He could have taken that first time, but he wanted to, to have that cushion touch and be sure about it. And he looks up and sees that he's in an onside position. Great pass from that man to find Mavasa to try and get his 11th in all competition. But that chance found him unprepared. You know, what do they say? In that area there, your first uh, opportunity to strike is usually your best. But if you look for that second touch, that might be all it takes for the opportunity to go a begging. Now, Mobi. I say the passing hasn't been uh, on point from Pirates at times. I've been a little bit uh, wasteful, I think, in some of the way that there was some of, uh, especially in that first half, how they turned possession over. The, the disappointment of Nda, he's shaking his head and says, uh, Badra, you want to play or you want you want a chair there? Gamesmanship uh, is it from Batola? We already saw him do uh, a yeah, he's got a problem. I think he's suffering with this groin injury. Uh, yeah. But Nda is just a little bit frustrated to say, hey boy, we 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 have the momentum now. Uh, please stay on your feet. We've got the momentum. Uh, the medical team trying to treat um, that groin injury. Mutsueni. The penalty hero last season in the Netbank Cup. Man who hasn't played in the DSTV Premiership this season, hasn't made an, an appearance yet. He might well be called upon. Ronaldo Lina was in goal in the Cup game last time out and uh, is uh, not featuring in the match day squad. A, a glam looking Kaiser Chief supporter there. His side played to a scoreless draw. Uh, that Africa Cup of Nations break wasn't good for Kaiser Chiefs. Uh, the results haven't been coming since then. But uh, here, offside again at uh, this time. Uh, Wana Korat, as he come across again to uh, to the left-hand side and leaving Mashangu to operate on uh, the right-hand side. Here come Pirates with Otto. Really are asking all the questions at the moment, our Pirates, as uh, Skukuna standing off and Mukwana steals it. Uh, Linda Mtambo. Now the chance here to break for Hizu. Looking to hold it up now, Mukwana. Taking it wide. Nervous Mukwana. Just a little bit too long for uh, Ohizu to get on to. Abelo Zamini. And Talent Dimbata there. What a touch. Badra. Uh, well, uh, anyway, will do really at the moment. As I said, it's panic stations at the back here for Skukune, who looked so assured in the first round, but they looked decidedly rattled after that goal by Mabasa, which uh, came in the 56th minute. They're gonna have to, you know, endure a period of suffering here, as they sometimes describe it in the game now. Oh, that. Uh, pass needed to come Lindam Tambo was looking for to run onto it in a very advanced position they're not uh, accustomed to seeing that high up in the field on the field quarter of an hour remaining Moby involves Boris Omasa when he was at Cali's, he was uh, banging in goals. And Skukune, okay, moved to Skukune. And then at some point, they switched him to a defensive role. 
Otto picking up Mabasa. Look to go for the first time header. Slightly played behind him. Uh, slightly played in front of him. Uh, Dion Otto is at Gallop again down that left hand side, trying to find that early cross. Seems like he has got a concern. Uh, on his shoulder there, that is Dion Otto. He's saying to Mavasa, hold it up. Mavasa is saying it's a little bit too high for me. I can't control that ball. And I think Mavasa is correct at that moment to say the ball was a little bit in front of him and higher. Fifteen minutes to play is uh, an eternity. Long, long time. A lot of football to go. Kapinga. Polisanda. Otto, nice ball. To find Mufuke. Just behind Mabasa. Play behind Mabasa. The way is that final pass for Lando Pirates in the final third? They are just missing that inch when they have to make that pass. Uh, as you look at Skukune making another another sub, a relation to Bradley Cornell. That's right, a uh, youngster Cameron Cornell is about to make his uh, DSTV Premiership debut. He has already made his cl uh, club debut, a team debut for Skukune. Came off the bench in the match uh, the confederation cup match against the uh, diablis noir and there he is uh, nephew of uh, the great bradley Cornell. now checks in for his psl debut and is coming on for linda dambo Cornell can uh, play as a wing back he can play as a winger as well got a bit of pace and trickery about him he's a former maritzburg united disky challenge player but uh, he comes here via the signed from Africa All Star All Star FC, which uh, campaigns in the ABC Multiple League, based they play out in Takani. Mokwana, have you seen much of him in an attacking dimension uh, in this game? Sometimes you need to sacrifice yourself for the team, and I think that is what Mukwana has done this evening. Has really worked his socks off to try and track uh, Dion Otto whenever he goes on that on that overlap, and um, he has done a great work in terms of giving them the shape, uh, blocking the passing lanes, and frustrating Paris. That's a great ball and a chance here. Yeah! Save from Mubatra. What was Mukwa, uh, Mufuke really played it straight at the keeper there? And Badra pulls off the stop. Oh, what a chance! What a poor play through. Was that Lamini that slipped that pass through from from Fugeng? By the way, we have goals out in Mbombela now. Kriba and uh, Nurkovic have TS Galaxy 2 0 up against Amazulu. The piano is back in tune. Yakokota piano. Nurkovic back amongst the goals. Zulu, who of course are the team that uh, knocked Skukune out of uh, the Netbank Cup and inflicted their first defeat of the year. Oh, frustration, frustration for Ohizu. That win for Galaxy, fortunately, would uh, only keep, still keep them outside of the top, the top half of the table. Meantime, just over 12 minutes, uh, just under 12 minutes to go in this one. Pirates, so that are doing most of the attacking. Kabela Tamini has been key in the second half. He's been the man uh, calling the tune. Hato, as uh, I was about to say, Skuku have gone defensive, but they've been defensive from the first half, uh, looking to hit on the on the break. Look at that again. Lots of red shirts behind the ball. And I guess we'll see more of that as the, we get into the last 10 minutes of the game they will look to hang on for dear life to get the result here shot from Mbata is blocked 
Mbuyi. Skukune are happy when Kim Mbuyi is playing in front of the eight, eight men of Skukune. He needs to find space in the pockets. He needs to find space in between the lines. That's how he, you will ask Skukune. But if Zamini and Kim Mbuyi are just rotating the ball in front of those eight players, Skukune are happy because they are not being threatened. Pull it wide here to Kapinga. Zamini fires a shot in. Well, he plays it, punches it straight back into play, does sir. Sandare living rather dangerous. It looked like a routine catch there. But Batra made a meal of it there. Sandare got away with it, but Pirates still attacking. Stepping up was Yamba Yamba. Looking to keep it uh, to the back poster for Mabasa there. Zamini again. He's been the man in the second half and a uh, misplaced pass. Mobi now a chance to break. Here's Mokwana. Carnell making a run down this left hand side. Oh, the poor, poor pass. And the break, break, a, pr a promising attack. That should be a yellow card. Elvis Mokwana gave away a bad pass and then goes on to foul Libito and uh, earns himself. A yellow card does Elvis Mugwana. That's a, a suspension. That means he is out of Skukune's uh, next match. It's a free kick again for Lando Pirates. As I said, there's a bit of panic that is setting at the back here for Skukune. They've given a free kick in another dangerous position here. Living very dangerously. Sooner or later, they're going to pay. The price for all these free kicks that are giving away within striking range of the goal of Badra. Skukune's next match, by the way, is at home to Cape Town City. But uh, Elvis Mokwana will be out of that one, having picked up that caution. Now, another tester opportunity to test. It's going to be for Kapinga by the looks of things this time around with a night boot. We have, seen that, we have seen that we have seen that Kabela Zamini has tested the goalkeeper on the couple of set plays that he had, but the ball just lacked the venom or the power. In this instance, uh, you're looking at um, Kapinga now having that opportunity to have a, a direct shot at, at goal. So it is going to be key to see Orlando Pirates have so many set specialists on the field of play who's taking responsibility for this one. Goes into the wall, does its job. Carnell hoops it upfield. The up and under, they're chasing. Look at Chain has come out, but oh, he's out of his position now. Uh, if they can get this uh, keeper, he's out of position. Flag stays down. There's still an opportunity here for Skukune. Can they wrap it up here? Yeah. Almost got to Carnell. Excellent challenge there from Tavi Solibito doing defensive work now. He's playing as a fullback at the moment. He's in defense this time, Solibito. Look at that crucial challenge here. But it was a miscue there. I think there was a foul there. Offside. The yeah. Uh, uh, when you look at it, Oizo is in an offside position. Uh, that chance, she didn't have even... Uh, Skukuna, she didn't even have that chance. He was in an offside position, and uh, the referee team missed that again. I think the Skukuna players were also appealing for a foul in midfield, and uh, as the chain was uh, chasing back to his own goal, they felt the man was pulled back who could have had a shot on goal. As Chain had come almost to the halfway line. And didn't make sure with his clearance. But a nearly caught in position there. Skukun, as I said, looking to make it five wins in the DSTV Premiership in a row. A run that started... Uh, Run that started late last year and continuing into the 2004 where they remain unbeaten. Run, uh, this run that they're currently on started with a win against at home to Richards Bay. Carnell closed down quickly. Zamini. Just over five minutes remaining. Pirates on a run of two 
matches in a row with the or two wins in a row they've only won two or more pirates in a row twice this season so we could have already put together a four match winning run on two occasions the last time was uh, january last season they also put together a run of four matches and it's uh, for this campaign yeah pirates have only put together a run of two wins or more on two occasions and at the moment here they are looking to rescue a point it's not about a victory i think uh, we are into that uh, damage con uh, damage limitation mode now for pirates this uh, poor run on away from home looks like carrying on for pirates oh very nearly forcing a way through there but well, this man is living dangerously uh jali is already booked came off the bench by the way came on as a sub he's already been booked and now he's just uh, i think he's looking for trouble interfering with the restart there as chain chain look to make a quick well now look what he does here it's very naughty a deliberate obstruction i don't know why we saw this in the sundowns game against the london pirates where you can't challenge the goalkeeper and he's uh, delaying the restart of the game and should have been booked there uh, which would have been a, which should have been the red all right sir unbeaten uh, in the league in four matches uh, not have lost uh, since uh, that uh, three two reversal against the uh, steadies in december last year it's a uh, hot was ball in pirates are preparing a change we told but uh, can't get past canal some final instructions being given I think it's Akele Lepasa that is going to be, be coming on um, for a really move again. The team that he got a hat trick against in the MTN 8 earlier in the season, Akele Lepasa, can he get one for Orlando Pirates? It will be very difficult with this stubborn defense of Skukune, a real uh, team effort tonight. Oh, almost a turning there, Cabello Tamini. The ball that was. A man slipped in there. And that's all it took to create a chance. It's a corner. This is back to the wall stuff here for T for Skukune as Zakele Lepasa checks in. And uh, 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 says uh, as a uh, Pumoto Manager just mentioned, what a hat trick against this same side as uh, Skukune hoofed away. Look at that. No one upfield for them. And chain has come a long way up now needs to get it into the box the fans are imploring him to hurry up the referee is blowing his whistle tactical Maybe. discipline from cma's team i think he must be proud of his team to say um, the discipline of the midfield three, the discipline of the wingers to drop in and assist the team defensively. I'm sure inside he's smiling in his heart, as Siema, to say the, the plan has come through where he is frustrating Orlando Pirates, frustrating them from finding those passing lanes. I think a, a great game plan with the three midfielders to start it off. This is going to be a, a yellow card, a needless one. A needless one. Is that uh, Mathamu or? Uh, in fact, that's a the Tuani who goes into the book and needless yellow card that high up on the field the field and in five minutes we're hearing well minimum five to be played he's not he's nowhere near the ball that's actually a dangerous challenge because he catches him on the Achilles could have done a really bad injury there a uh, bit of immaturity there from Maseko Tuani didn't need to do that just uh, keep him there 
keep him, him yeah. keep him there he's in his own half he's facing his own goals don't make the tackle be patient believe in your teammates that they'll give you the cover but he says he's out of position therefore he's gonna, cut a, a uh, he's gonna take one for the team the veto Zapiri de Pass has uh, well, got three Premier League goals, uh, Premiership goals this season. But they, the last time he scored was back in August in the Premiership. So the goal. Now then, at the other end, uh, let's see what. The, It's opening up here, Mabasa! The flag was up offside, though I figure I thought he might have been just uh, offside and he was. You yeah, soldiered on alone up, up top uh, tonight. The lack of service was frustrating for him tonight and uh, he kept soldiering on. It seems like he might have got contact on that knee, that, that is Mabasa. Kapinga. Yeah, correct call. He's in an offside position, but Younger goes straight to the knee of of, of of Mabasa, and I think the referee should do something about it. But then the decision becomes: the foul happens after the whistle has gone. Has gone. But he was in an offside position. A good call by the referee team. So for Fatou Mabasa, getting back to his feet. Adding to his goal tally, Mabasa is up to seven now in the DSTV Premiership. So somehow he's uh, found himself snapping on the heels of the the front runners at the top of the scorers' charts, uh, Pumuza Manenje. Suddenly, but uh, the goals have been split between two two clubs. He's uh, up to seven. It's just. Uh, one behind Ikram Reynas, who's got eight. The top scorer currently, Lucas Ibero Costa of, of Mamelodi Sundowns, who's on ten. Kangisa Mayo was unable to add to his nine in a nil-nil draw earlier on. So can uh, Skukune hang on here and make a little bit of uh, history as a club to win five matches in a row for the first time. But uh, they have another two minutes at least that they'll have to hold on. Pirates again with a ball in front of them. They, don't, they won't mind that uh, at all as uh, Mabasa. Uh, as uh, Badra will take his time here. now into the last minute and a half a result that's going to take Skukune into third place if they can hold on Pirates uh, if they can snatch a late equalizer here will move into fourth spot but uh, go to third spot brother started the afternoon uh, started the evening started the day in second but results elsewhere means he could have dropped to fourth but things are very tight behind Mamelody sundowns still very tight in that race for second spot only three only five points between number the play the team in second spot 
and the team in seventh that is Kaiser Chiefs are only separated by five points so it's still that second spot anyone's to get now is a late drama here just not the red time. wall the red wall of Siema the red wall of Kukune Pirates have knocked that wall, uh, on that wall the whole evening tonight and it seems that mm. that wall is not gonna fall tonight now let's see what Tali Dimbata I've seen a lot of the ball in Bata, but you know, look at that position 68 32 now that's a decent one just a little bit too high I'm afraid for my tired looking Mabasa and now the five minutes is up as Lupolo Party. The referee looks at his watch. Mr. Party has a look at uh, his watch. He's still one of the younger referees. He's 29 years old, but it seems like he's been around forever. And uh, he took charge, by the way, of that Amazulu game. And there it is! There it is! They've done it! The Sonona Sema has pulled a number on his former club, a defensive